2022 cornerback from Cheltenham High School, 5'11", 165. Cheltenham. Mm -hmm. Ooh, 4'5", 40, 305 squat. It's pretty good numbers for a defensive back. Uh, it's got a senior season tape, and then it looks like, uh, yeah, player here. What do you, uh, what do we know about Nazim as we're hopping in? PA guy. Defensive, yep, PA guy out of Sheltonham High School. Um, that's actually right, literally right outside of the Philly area. So, um, uh, good friends. Well, Good. Yeah, I would say good friends with us. Head coach Troy Gore, um, good guy out of Philly area. Uh, first time. I'm sorry, first year coach of Sheltonham. Um, solid defensive back. I'm not sure what's going on with his recruitment, but I took a look at a couple of his plays. Um, you know, while I was evaluating players to uh, get on this uh, broadcast, and I was impressed with what I saw. And you know, the Philly area always produces. Uh, solid defensive backs that got that that dog in them that want to you know had that fight in them um so uh i think you'll definitely like this tape if you're a defensive back type yeah, of I mean, dude like me absolutely and and led the league in tackles and interceptions at the cornerback position all glory let's go love to see that that's good stuff right there without further ado let's yeah. hop right into the tape Hey, let's update that profile picture. Maybe make a couple graphics. You know what I mean? I got to see this 40. We got to upload a video of that 40. When you get out on the camp circuit, got to know what, what's going on with uh, the recruitment 2022. Hopefully you're getting that opportunity. Ooh, good play right there. Good job tracking. Yes, sir. It, uh, man, coverage keeps that inside leverage. Um, opens up and turns just in time and gets his head around makes the play so everything he did on that play was um perfect textbook yeah. textbook <laughs> Ooh. uh-uh uh-uh You know, stuck, of course, you, know, you don't, like glue don't want to let. Absolutely. And, you know, even though he might have got slightly inside. The fact that, you know, Nazim was on top of him um, and able to make that play over the top, knocking the ball out of his hands. It looks like, uh, it's, again, textbook, except for you maybe maybe you want to try to, you know, keep it from going inside. But if he does, you know, if a receiver does go, you know, get inside of you, um, as long as you play over the top. You, you'll still be able to make a play, especially in the red zone against quick passes. Whoop. Strong hands right there. Rip that ball away. Absolutely. That receiver surely thought he was going to catch that football. He thought. That's what happens when you think. Nazim knew. <laughs> Nazim knew he was going up and grabbed that thing. Okay, you could see it. we saw it in the tweet. Led, led, led in interceptions and tackles coming up, being physical in the run game. You love to yeah. see it. <laughs> Interesting music. But uh, it's, on that last yeah, play, we'll, we'll you know, it, even even if um, even if the play isn't going to you, like with defensive backs, you know, it's and what I, what what impresses me about this tape is that it's a lot of plays of him playing in man to man defense, and in that one particular play, you know, the ball didn't come out his way, but you know, there's a reason why because he had that tight coverage on him. Yep, this play right here. And the quarterback is looking for him. That's the primary receiver. But, you know, Nazim has him covered like a, you know, like a blanket. And then, you know, the quarterback's unable to throw, throw the football. So that's um, a great play to put on this tape. Yeah, 
And then right here on this pick, you see his teammate come in a little. Whoop! What a nice little blow right there. Yeah. 